Well, we made it to the bug out camp, our second choice location. We got camp set up, got the tube pulled out, and now it's time to find a good spot, open the tube, and see what we've got. There's going to be stuff in there we're going to need. So that is going to be the next order of business. See if we can get around over somewhere, get a comfortable place. Might even get up in the shade, see if we can see it good enough. It's awful humid here today in South Texas. No breeze. Temperature's pushing up in the high 80s already. And the day's not even getting going good yet. So, let's see what we can come up with. Alright, so here we are. We are uh, at our location and we got our stuff out. We got our camp set up. We got a few basic things done that we have to do. But even though we're a couple of days in, now it's time that we start needing some extra things. We need to start needing uh, things beyond what we brought in our packs and, and beyond what we picked up on the way here and beyond what we've been able to scrounge and salvage and forage for so far. So, to make our life easier, we have pre-positioned some bug out tubes and in the bug out tubes we put some basic things now it would have been nice to have about a half a dozen of these each to put a lot of stuff in including one full of wheat one full of potatoes and oats and and one full of other good stuff but this is what it is so let's look and see what we got see if I can get set up here and away we go now, if you see me sweating, it's not because I'm nervous, it's because it is plenty good and warm out here. And we'll try to fix this so I can see what I'm doing. I got the sun shining right in my face, so that's not going to help me much with that. But, now I've already loosened the lid up a little bit. Theoretically, though, we would have had something in the way of a wrench that would loosen this up. Something else I didn't do because of the way we're doing this is I did not seal the threads. Normally I would put thread sealing on those so that I wouldn't have to worry about any water getting into the tube. But for right now, we've got it this way. Let's see what falls out. Thing one, extra pair of leather gloves, which is a good thing because these gloves, besides having a hole burnt in them, in the humidity here, have gotten wet and started to shrink down to where I can hardly get my hands in it. So, a pair of gloves, that's a good thing. Thing two, well, thing two would be a little device that I can flip a light over one of my rifles with. Get my pistol up out of the way so we don't get things mixed up. Now I'm not going to count off everything as it comes out. Inside there I've got a vitamin pack for in case we hadn't found much food and had to have a little extra nourishment. I've got a magazine for the rifle that's going to come out here in a second. I have a bag of rice, probably about a pound and a half there. We've got a package of soup mix, vegetable beef in this case. Fairly healthy size. That would feed us probably two meals if we added to it right with some of the stuff we salvaged. A little bit of tuna. That actually sounds pretty good right now. Ah, here we go. I brought a first aid kit. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of sickly. Well, I got, <laughs> I, have, I got some medicine for you. <laughs> um, this is a plastic bottle. I didn't want to put glass in there. And as silly as it seems, besides being pleasant to have, this is also great stuff to pour on a cut or to trade with somebody if you came across somebody that was of a need. Wes and I were having that conversation just a little bit of ago, how something like this is good trade stuff. But that isn't why I brought it. I brought it for medicinal purposes. Got a boo -boo. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll get something else out. I have Dude, we have aluminum foil. Uh, a roll of aluminum foil. <laughs> now it's okay. Wes is back here too. He's been wanting to see what I had in here. He was hoping I'd pull out. Well, who knows? Wait, but you didn't just <laughs> you won the prize right there. Uh, this is just a little light. This is one of those that clips onto a ball cap and uh, I haven't pulled the tab for the battery yet So it's just kind of like a little backup able to see at night One of the things that has been most handy for us the last few nights is our headlamps I had not realized how great of a thing that would be having headlamps to be able to see around when we're walking in the dark When we're trying to do things to be able to have hands free All right, 
I have, you know, I don't remember what's in here. Oh, I have Gatorade. I put some Gatorade in this thing right here that would hold it real good and fit in there. This is the grape flavored Gatorade. Not my favorite, but I had it, so I used it. So we got Tang and Gatorade. Awesome. Oh, I know what this is. We're going to open this up. And I'll see if I, yeah, if I can find the end of the tape, Wes. I know it's here. Good grief. I did too good of a tape job. Is it middle diagonal, bottom side to you? I'm right guessing. There? Right there? No. Well, wow. Huh. You know what? I'm just going to get in from the side right here and it'll be all right. What's in there? Well, I have a couple of multi-tools, one of which will be of particular interest to you. Oh. They were sealed up in plastic like this in the hopes, not the hopes, the hopes against getting water in there and just keeping them a little bit. Besides, it holds them a little bit more in place, too, so they don't shift around. But <clears throat> in here, we have the basic multi-tool pliers with the different things on it. The spring loaded one too. This is, would have been handy a couple of times already. Yeah. And we have specifically these guys here. For cutting. Wow. These I figured would be good for cutting that back skin on a gar. Yeah. To be able to get in there. I watched one of Bob's videos on cooking a gar. And um, he talked about how a pair of... of Ten snips or shears or something would be the right way to do that. So, got those guys. We have sesame oil, hot chili sesame oil, the best kind. We have a fish spear. This is called a Hawaiian sling. The way it works is you sling it up on your hand like that. Stretch it down the shaft, and when you get close enough in a boat or from the shore, if you happen to be able to, to spear a fish, it does its thing. I could get us some little gar with that in the creek. This is the head for that. This is just a basic spear fishing head that goes on that. All right. We have more rice, another couple of pounds of rice. We have some potatoes, dehydrated, sour cream and chives, no less. We have noodles, Alfredo style with pasta and sauce, times two. I can only hope, I can't see myself, I can only hope that I'm in the right place here. Let me check you out. Oh, did you mean to turn this on? Ah, I'm just ah, wouldn't that be something? In fact, that wouldn't be a bad thing now that you said that. To make sure it's actually recording. No problem. Should, should show a I'll bring y'all back in a minute. Um, a bag of lentils, which has come open. Oh, can you hold it down a little bit? Can up a little bit more? And that way some? You were in the middle of the frame. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good. Wes is messing with me. That's good, though. All right, we have a stock for a 22 rifle. We have a whole big thing of lemon pepper seasoning. Ah, show you what that is in a second. We got a two-piece fishing pole, heavy duty for reeling in larger fish, gar and that kind of thing. We have the rest of the 22 rifle right in here. This is a Ruger 1022. Takes two screws to put it back together, which is part of what the multi-tools are for. This screw holds it in, this screw holds it together, and it's all that's all there is to it. Also in this, we're not going to take it apart, but inside the stock here, I've drilled down about that far and was able to put like a basic survival kit down in there. Uh, some matches, uh, I think there's a couple of fish hooks and eight or ten extra shots. For just in case. 
sit on and do this, or does everybody know what I Everybody knows what to yeah. do. That's what I thought. All right, the strings are to help get the stuff out of the bottom of the tube. Another magazine for the 22 rifle. The little folding saw here, kind of like that one you got. Just so, for the record, I tried to help them move this cup thaws. The damn thing's heavy. Yep, I had it loaded up. The only way I could have gotten more stuff in there, and I thought about it, was just dumping loose beans and rice in there as I filled it up to take up the extra space. Not quite the that saw that everybody talks about and says is great, but um, it's got a better lock than mine does. These are great saws. I've had these before. In fact, I had one that broke off about there. I carried it for years and years anyway. And even with that much of the blade, did pretty much all the cutting I needed to do. I know what this is. This is a little axe head. I made one of those. <laughs> This axe head has some wedges taped to it to fit this goofy handle that I made for it. I've got another wedge taped right there, but that's what this is for. This was just an expedient use handle right here that is from an old piece of furniture that I whittled down and carved and would at least cut some wood when we had to do it. And of course the wedges are for, for sealing it up real good. Uh, this is just a bag of fishing stuff. I have I have line and I have all kinds of things, hooks, little floats, swivels, steel leaders. A little piece of steel, no, oh a bug net, that's a bug net, a head net for if the bugs get bad. And they hadn't yet, but we can tell they're going to at some point. There's lots of stuff in here to catch fish, and this bag was put together specifically designed for the type of fish in this area. This bag was for, for gar and for catfish and for fairly big fish like that. Now in here there are some small hooks and some small lines for uh, catching the smaller fish. And the smaller pole I've got, we carried in attached to our packs. I got lentils coming out. All right, here is a bag of something. Yep. You ever eat lentils? No. Lentils are like little beans. They cook up real easy. It doesn't take very much time or very much energy to cook them. I've heard of lentils before. They're kind of good, actually, especially with rice. But I've, never, I've heard of littles, too, and I've never seen one of those. <laughs> All right, this is some more fishing stuff. Another thing is line, some fairly heavy duty test, I think, yeah, 30 pounds, and some sinkers for getting the line down there, and this has the reel for that rod that we pulled out a minute ago, with some good heavy duty line on that as well. Well, that sun is warm. It is hot. You ought to be standing over here. <laughs> this is stink bait. This was at the very bottom of the tube. This is one of the things I've been wanting the most, and it's been at the very bottom of this tube, waiting to get pulled out. But this is, you know, some people might say, well, that won't catch very well, that'll go bad. Well, it's already bad, I promise. <laughs> it's real it's not bad. like it's going to rot. Yeah, huh? yeah, it gets worse, but it don't get bad. Yeah. It's already bad. If I've actually had this jar of stink bait right here for eight or 12 years, uh, and it has not been kept any place special. So, this is going to be just fine. And there's enough in here with the type of bait system I have called dip worms to last a long time. And we know it's worked because Wes and I have caught a couple of catfish with this stuff already. Um, so that's pretty much it. Not the Disclaimer greatest. on the scout mission. What's that? On the scout mission. Yes, exactly. Exactly. On a recon scout mission. So anyway, there you go. That's not a lot of stuff, but the main thing behind all this was having enough food for a few days and the ability to procure more food. Uh, between a fishing pole and that 22 rifle and that little swing spear, that's going to get us a lot of food. we got the stuff in here to be able to make shelter with. Uh, we've got some stuff to cook with. Uh, 
there. I didn't find it, but I, there's a big lighter down in here somewhere, so we can even build a fire. But we got that stuff on our packs too. We so already, anyway, well, we've got the the cache live traps already produced two animals. Yep. I mean, it's yeah, cache ends work. I mean, cash is like money in the bank. Ah. Yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much. Stuff. Anyway, and by the way, this cache that we're talking about, in case you don't know and you didn't see it in the description, that's not C-A-S-H, it is C-A-C-H-E. Uh, it's a French word, uh, cache, to... Uh, it means give stuff to Wes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it, though. So, hope y'all enjoyed that, and uh, looking forward to seeing comments. Thanks for watching. And everything laid out.